Have you ever thought about scaling your mortgage business, but the thought of spending more time away from your family makes you cringe? Do you have any idea what KPIs you need to focus on? Do you know what KPIs are? What are the four things you need to strike gold in your mortgage business? Well, first of all, you need to know your numbers. Second of all, you need to focus on income producing activities. Third, you need to educate and grow strategic referral partnerships. And fourth, you need to leverage. So first of all, let's talk about knowing your numbers. How much do you close? If you don't have a clear roadmap of where you need to go, where you want to go, your goals, you're never gonna get there, right? If you say, oh, I made this much last year and now this year I wanna make this much. Okay, that's a good start. Did you know that if you don't write your goals down, you only have a 3% success rate at actually achieving those goals? The minute you put those goals in writing, it actually goes up to 90%. And the more detailed you can be with your goals, the higher your percentages of your chances for success. So let's look at your numbers, right? If you don't know your numbers, like if you don't really know, okay, so I did about whatever, 20 million last year. Okay, great. But if you don't know the actual volume and you don't know the number of units, then you actually don't know your average transaction amount and you need all three of those to figure out how you're gonna to get to your goal for this year. So you need your numbers from last year. And actually, if you've been in the business for longer than a year, great, you actually have a trend. And then considering the huge refi boom we had last year, you might wanna back those out and see what your numbers truly are without those artificially inflated numbers. So once you have an idea of your actual volume, you want your volume, you want your actual number of closed units so you can get your average transaction value. But the other thing is important is your purchase to refi split, right? Which I just talked about. And then really what's your percentage of conventional versus Govy? And then split Govy up. Split Govy up into VA, FHA, and USDA. Because this is going to help you figure out how you're going to get to where you want to go. All right? Because if you don't know the numbers of where you want to be, it's virtually impossible to figure out how many more strategic referral partnership relationships you need of what kind. Right? Because the likelihood that a CPA is going to give you a purchase is actually a lot lower than a realtor, of course. However, a homeowner's insurance agent could definitely give you a refi and a purchase opportunity if you know where to look in, in the right place. So if you don't know those numbers of where you your business actually is and what it's comprised of, then it's almost impossible to look at where you wanna go. So you need to know your numbers. Secondly, you have to focus on income producing activities. And when I say income producing activities, I don't mean filling out a 1003 or collecting documents. I mean the in-person and phone calls that you need to make meetings, phone meetings, Zoom meetings, in-person meetings, and the outbound calls you need to make every single day to grow your business. Whether that's fostering relationships with current strategic referral partners and making them stronger, or that's cold calling. And again, I prefer a warm referral. So I, I prefer a realtor to refer me to another realtor or a CPA to refer me to another CPA or a homeowner's insurance agent to refer me to a realtor. Okay, that's my secret mortgage millions mentor pro tip. All day long, warm referrals instead of cold calls. But anyway, you gotta do the income producing activities. You gotta make the calls, right? So you want to always be assuming there's going to be some attrition, usually 
of whoever your current strategic referral partners are, realtors, CPAs, CFPs, HOIs, right? Agents. Because some people are going to retire. Some people are going to, they're going to go out of business. Things are going to change. Somebody else is going to, you know, maybe somebody in their family becomes a loan officer, whatever. You have to account for at least assume 10% attrition. So right off the bat, before you grow your business, you're going to have to bump it up by 10% just to stay flat. And the way you do that is with income producing activities every day. I like to do them first thing because that's a big thing, right? I want to get it off my plate and I want to be successful at it because it sets my tone for the rest of the day. Third, you want to educate your strategic referral partners and you want to grow those strategic referral partnerships. So whether that's realtors, whoever it may be that you like to focus on. I like to keep a myriad of different strategic referral partners because that helps keep my business steady all year long, right? So if you focus on purchase, that's great, but you need to be having getting those referrals from diff different, uh, different strategic referral partnerships so that you're just not, I mean, it's great to be busy spring and summer, right? We all are. If we're not, that's a bigger problem. But in order to keep your business steady all year long, you want to have a variety of different referral sources. And when I say grow these relationships, I'm talking about adding value, educating them, showing up in a serving mentality. Don't show up with your hand out asking for business and giving some donuts and rate sheets. That hasn't worked in decades. Come to the party with something of value and something to share and something to give. Fourth, leverage. You want to leverage systems, artificial intelligence, and the people on your team so that you can work smarter and not harder. Hey, if you're looking for ways to grow your mortgage business, this is the channel you definitely want to follow. Click on the subscribe button below. I'm Alicia Stobie, your Mortgage Millions Mentor, and I help loan officers work smarter instead of harder so that you can grow your pipeline exponentially and close more loans faster and easier and put more money in your bank account.